I'm telling you, the attention whores on Facebook are hilarious. Where they write something like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And that's it. And then you say, what's going on? Like, are you in trouble? What's wrong? And they're like, inbox me or text me or... It's like, no, no, that's not going to happen. Oh, well, I was sitting here thinking I'd never received my package today from uh, CanVape. And I went and checked my phone and, you know, reset all my, my warnings and all that. And one of them was from Canada Post saying I received a package, which is right there. So let's crack into this son of a bitch and see if we got everything we ordered. Yeah. Well, son of a cigarette, it's all there. Yeah, let's check out what I ordered. So I ordered two more of these 18650 batteries, the 3000 milliamp kind. They're only good for about 10 amp draw, but uh, you know, I don't plan on sub -oming. These will be fine. I ordered two more spools of canthal. So I got uh, 200 meters here of canthal or something like that no 20 meters sorry yeah that's better 20 meters of canthal so that should last me a while also ordered a new cardo tank for like smaller than than this big bastard here or that big bastard there this is a 2.5 mil cardo tank I love the cardo tanks these things work awesome and for my new traveler the I taste variable voltage Jules bought this one bloke bought this one and both say you know what this is the best thing to walk around with when you're not at home because variable voltage is or variable wattage I should say is where it's at people I already had a small portable variable voltage battery you know not too bad not too bad what's nice about variable wattage is you set it and you pretty much forget it like wattage mode will make the, 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 the device basically automatically check out the resistance of the coil and apply the proper voltage to it you set it to around eight eight and a half watts any single tank you put onto your device will work and it will work good so that's what I like about variable wattage mode I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this VV and we're gonna take a look and see if it has a charge and if not well we're gonna charge it let's do this Nice display. Dad just texted me. Bunch of people posting online, uh, looking for warm places to store their car or car charger battery things. And yeah, Dad can't get his car started, and neither can a lot of other people. I just tried mine, and holy fuck, I nearly didn't go, people. It was like, bar, rar, rar. then it did this, and, bar, rah, rah, and she finally fired. So I'm gonna let it heat up for a bit, and uh, that's pretty dicked. Fuck yeah. Well, I should have bought this thing in silver because this is how I'm gonna run it. Yup, I got a cardo tank, freaking a beauty ring on a uh, VV3 from Anakin. Yeah, it's pretty good too. Got it running at about 8 watts. And uh, she's pretty good. Yeah, I'm running the uh, vanilla custard sauce right here. This one here from uh, freaking um, uh, what the hell did I get this from? Yellick, Yellick, that can. And uh, it's pretty good. I've tried a bunch of tanks on here. The Ego or the Evod tanks, the, the, like that chrome one there and that red one there, uh, they have pin positioning problems. You got to pull the pins on the uh, on the tanks to make them work. This one here is such a tight fire that I need to take it apart, drain the tank, and throw it in a friggin' vat of uh, alcohol and clean it out. This one here, this little CE2, it's all right. It hits all right. Pro tanks, I had a pro tank onto it. I got both Pro Tanks going right now, one on the Mechanical Mod and one on my uh, Vamo. Uh, they work fine on it, but man, do they ever make the thing top heavy. And well, that Cardo Tank is no different than the one I'm running right now. What's weird is this uh, EVOD MT3S works fine on this device. I just, you know, the, the uh, Mountain Dew is a vape that I like at certain times of the day. And right now is not one. I like the delicate vapes right now, like the vanilla. Oh, that's poop. The vanilla and the uh, my mango one because they're smoother, they're lighter, they're easier going. They don't rip the throat out of you. But um, it's currently uh, 3.30. Uh, my car should be nice and toasty. So we're going to get out there and head off to work. And then we're going to come home and do flyer day, people. Even though flyers were kind of shit, I will admit, they weren't the exact best flyers. But that's always expected after Christmas. I talk about that every year. Right, Kitten? Oh, no, this is your first Christmas, right? What, you want to know what this is? My, my vape. Look. Do you like that? Do you like that? Can you talk? I know you can burp, but can you talk? Get them. Scampers. Hi. Scampers. What are you doing? It's just... Scampers. What are you doing, Get them. This is this thing. 
You want it? You want it? Hey, Niff? <laughs> You're so cute. Yeah, I guess uh, she was playing pretty rough with Oreo because I heard Oreo let out a blood curdling screech a while ago. And for Frig's sakes, you know, that's never good. But his eyeballs look fine, so she didn't catch him in the eyeball or anything. But uh, that's one of the reasons why I need to get her declawed. The other reason is because of that actual, there's an actual disease, I didn't realize it existed, called cat scratch fever. Skittle the do, cat scratch fever, skittle the doe. But basically, cat scratch fever is caused by a cat scratch that's deep enough to basically cause you to bleed and roughly a day or two after you get cat, uh, cat scratched, you run the risk of actually getting a fever and getting critically sick. I had no idea that was an actual thing. I thought it was just a really freaking wicked awesome song that everybody could play on the guitar. But, uh, yeah, pretty crazy. Anyway, I'm off to work. Um, let's get the fuck out of here. So, like, it's not that bad out right now, you know? What? Huh. I guess my battery was really low because my clock reset itself. 12.51 p.m. Holy shit. I guess, uh, yeah, cranking her over like that was uh, pretty fucking brutal for her. I might have to get a new battery for this thing, people. I may have hurt my uh, my battery. What are we? 3.33. Perfect. Okay, let's get off to work. I just realized something, too. Remember how I said on Facebook a lot of my friends were saying their cars wouldn't start? Well, they're all GMs. They're all General Motors cars. Like, Dad's is a Chevy Impala. My my friend drives a Saturn Ion. My other friend drives a uh, Chevy Malibu. The other guy I know has a Pontiac Grand Prix, or not Grand Prix, uh, Grand Am. They're all Chevs. Huh, good thing this old girl started. I don't know what the fuck I would have done. But um, yeah, like, that's kind of an oddity, you know? I didn't see any complaints from any Dodge or Ford owners, just Chevs. But then again, if they're still running the stock Chevrolet battery, that's probably the problem. Like, I know Dad's car is pretty damn brand new. He got the thing maybe, what, two years ago, probably? Probably somewhere around there. I think he bought that car in 2011, summer 2011, so three years ago maybe. I know he bought the car brand new off the lot, so yeah, like pretty dicked. It's just Chev's having the problem. And a Chev stock battery, like the stock battery that was in this piece of shit, was uh, 490 cranking amps. Perfect if you live in California where they don't really get cold weathers or anything and you're not going to see minus 35, but when you live in the north, you kind of want your cold cranking amps in the over thousands, you know? So that's why like the cold cranking amps in this sum bitch right now is 1200 or something stupid high like that. No, I think it's it's uh, 1100 amps. Yeah, 1100 amps and 1080 cold cranking. So it's 1150 amps, 1080 cold cranking or some shit like that. All I know is she fucking fired today and that's awesome, but just starting it, it sounds like the battery might be hurting, like the cells might be weak. So we're probably gonna have to swap that out. And I remember I was chatting with a buddy of mine and he was like, well, I don't understand how come they don't make lithium ion batteries for cars, you know? They they throw current faster than an out, than the, uh, the chemical kind, like the battery, like the kind that's in there now. They throw current faster and all that. Well, the problem with lithium ion is, is they really fucking hate the cold. Like, they really hate the cold. Oh, well, look at Pug One, forgot his cell phone in his truck and the cell phone died. Why? Because lithium, uh, well, that's a lithium polymer battery. It's still lithium based. It really did not like the cold. So you put it in a cold environment and the fucking battery freaks out and just, just saps itself, you know? It's the way she goes. It's how lithium ion works. So that's why they don't have lithium ion in cars yet. Mind you, they do in those Priuses. But yeah. Anyway. I'm gonna head off to work, so let's get the frig out of here. Alrighty, people, while well, I'm at work now, still not a lot of people here. It's still a pretty empty parking lot. Today is a full staff day, so I don't understand that very much, but ah, whatevs. We'll freaking hammer down. So I'm really loving this setup here. This is fucking perfect. This uh, Heineken with the cardamizer. The other cardamizer I bought specifically for it, it's not hitting right, so I gotta drain it and put a new cardo into it because I think the cardo itself is fried. Happens all the time when I buy tanks from, from Canby. Like I bought that other Boge tank and the cardamizer it came with was was firing red so that's no good that's garbage and uh, this this one here when I got it from deal extreme fired from the first time no problem so right on so I'm thinking there's a problem with the cardamizers from friggin fast or fast tech from can babe but also later next week I should be getting my fast tech order so I'm anxious for that because that's uh, the nemesis mechanical mod and uh, the Kraken hybrid rebuildable that's why I bought all that canthal uh, wire so I can make sure to rebuild it but I I think that one there requires you to use metal mesh for your wick and I'm hoping it comes with some otherwise I'm gonna have to put in another can vape order and order a fuck ton of metal mesh because I have no idea where the hell to get that but uh, yeah I'm at work now gonna get this shift over with honestly driving to work I didn't see many GM products on the road there's a couple here but uh, I didn't see many on my way here so 
that's pretty fucked. But uh, also, there's something I read. Right now, I got plenty of time. It's 3.40, so um, friggin' uh, there was a company out in uh, Saskatchewan that invented something that might get them a loss. See, a lot of my American counterparts, like the, the American people who watch this, don't have block heaters in their cars because they don't need them. Well, they might need them this year, but uh, normally they don't need them. And a block heater, basically what it does is it plugs into the frost plug on your engine, and it's literally a coil that heats up the oil and the uh, the coolant in the in the engine, keeping the engine hot, running at a good temperature, so that it could be like minus 45 out, you crank your engine over and it starts like it's plus 25 out, you know? Well. This company in Saskatchewan, uh, well, one, sorry, I'm going to go back on the topic here. One problem with plugging in your car is a lot of people forget they plugged in their car. So what they do is they'll get up in the morning, they'll go out to their car, fire it up, not unplug the car, jump in the car, put it in reverse, and yank the fucking frost plug right out of the car. Like, just, just rip the block heater clear out of the car. And, or, or, or snap an extension cord, or if they're lucky, snap an extension cord. Most of the time, it rips the block heater clear off the car. Well, this company out in Saskatchewan, uh, they built an attachment that goes on the plug for your block heater and they built an attachment that goes on your extension cord and it's kind of like the MagSafe uh, connectors for MacBooks. Literally it's magnet. So if you do forget it in the morning and you back out, it just duke, it did clips, you know, no problem. But uh, like I said, it's based off the same technology that Apple uses for the MagSafe uh, adapt magnetic, you know. So I'm just waiting for this product to actually clear and become a product and then Apple suing the fucking shit out of this poor Canadian company that just wants to make the world a better place, you know. I'm just waiting for it. It's going to happen. Apple loves to sue people. I swear they got more lawyers than they do employees. But uh, that's the way she goes. Anyway, let's head her inside and get this shift over with. Head home and check out some shitty fly. Yeah, buddy. Do you guys see that? I'm not sure what's going on here. But that's not good. Well, people, it's currently midnight. It has warmed up a lot since uh, this morning. For six, that was gross. Warmed up a lot. Well, let's go home, see what the fur babies are up to, do fly our day, and hammer down. Alrighty, we're home. And I'd really like to know who keeps plowing my driveway. Because uh, I'd like to know who I need to buy a bottle of, or a bottle, freak sakes. Well, if it's Dennis, I need to buy him a bottle of wine. Because that's what he likes. But if it's anybody else in the neighborhood, well, I owe him a case of beer if they drink beer. Or, you know, a gift card for a Walmart or something. Because, holy, saving the day big times. Appreciate it. You know, there wasn't this much water in the sink today. I am seriously wondering if I am somehow getting water coming back through my drain now. What the fuck is really going on with this nonsense? Oh, uh, wait a second. Is this thing dripping? Are you dripping? Yeah, it is too. What a piece of shit. Put it on hot water. Not trying to drip, you bitch. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, there you go. Freak yourself. Anyway, I received a text from Jules. Uh, she's currently doing a Google Live Hangout, whatever the frig you want to call it. And uh, she wanted me to jump on there with her and all of her friends. Apparently she's on there with some friends. So I'm gonna go jump on there with her and all of her friends. Let's see what's going on. Oh man, I got home and started chatting online and things and little did I know, I still had a vlog to make. Whoops. I guess Oreo has to go outside for a shit because he's bouncing around like a little fucking idiot. So let's go take him outside and let him do his business because he ain't got no business pooping in the house. You better run before I get my shotgun. If anybody out there knows the name of that song and who it's actually sang by, right on. But it's not about pooping in the house. It's he ain't got no business on this side of the fence. You better run before I get my shotgun. But anyway, uh, it's warmed up a lot out there. It's a lot nicer. Which means Oreo will be, be able to go outside for a little bit longer. Where is he going? Oreo, get back here. Freak seeks. He's trying to work out a poop, so he's running around, but he doesn't have much running space because I didn't blow him a path in the backyard. But anyway, um, tomorrow night at around 9 Eastern, we're going to be jumping on a Google Hangout for anybody in Look at this thing. She's attacking my shoe. And now she's going for shit. But uh, we're going to be jumping on a Google Hangout. Uh, a lot of you are saying, hey, let's do a Google Hangout where we vape and stuff and talk vaping gear. Well, basically, that's what we did tonight. So we're going to do one tomorrow night around 9 o'clock Eastern time. So figure out what you are versus Eastern time. And that's when you'll know who will be live and all that jazz. But uh, let me get the dog inside. These things are nuts. Oreo starts bouncing and she's just like, stop it. Stop being excited. <laughs> You're not allowed to be excited, right? Right, scampers? Ice campers? He's not allowed to be excited? No. Oh, you just took a tumble. You're a mean puppy. Even though he didn't do anything. But anyway, people, what do we got here? Flyers. You know what that means? It's time for... Flyer day, flyer day. Gotta look at sales on flyer day. See what kind of deals they have in. 
the paper. Flyer day, flyer day. Gotta look at sales on flyer day. See what kind of deals they have in the paper. Flyer day, flyer day, yeah. Flyer day, flyer day, yeah. All the sales, all the sales. So much sales, love the sales. Alrighty, let's start off with Future Shop. Exciting stuff. They're still doing Boxing Week sales. Oh yeah. Just trying to rack in the cash. I heard these things are pretty good for people with shitty TV speakers. Eh, not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, they're still pushing the Tab 3. I got one of those. I love it. I want one for the PlayStation 3. Oh, it's a great deal. That means you should buy 12. That would even be good for when I move my bed into the red room. Yup. Still got their big deal on the friggin' SD cards. Probably should pick up some. Wouldn't mind getting a set of these headphones just to use on my computer. Frig yeah. Alrighty, moving right along to Staples. Let's see what kind of shite they have. Make deals that add up happen. Make happen? Deals that add up? Whatever. Entry level laptop. Oh, it's a quad core to boot. Ah, I've been seeing a lot of these A4s dual core and all that. Ah, kind of like this A4, which is a dual core. Ah, well, that doesn't make a foggy lick of sense. It's an Intel i series with a discrete AMD graphics card. Oh, yeah. One terabyte hard drive, $69.99. Honestly, I'd never buy one of those. I do believe they're asking a lot more than Future Shop is. Future Shop's asking $249 for the 8 inch. Alrighty, let's move on to groceries with Food Basics. See what kind of shite they have. 99 cents for water. Or you could turn on your tap. You're gonna pay for it regardless. Might as well drink it from the tap. Comes from the same place anyway. The tap. Because there's no regulation on bottled water. Ooh, I should go buy some tuna. Why? So I can make tuna noodle casserole. Oh, 99 cent friggin' chocolate milk. Love that kind, makes me fart harder. Wait a second, I should buy one of these, throw it in the slow cooker, and see what happens. Mmm, -hmm. chunky. Kick it up, did it, did it, did it, kick it up, did it, did it, did it. Bet you scampers would go friggin' ape retard for these. Sauce, palm olive, sauce, sauce, palm olive, sauce, palm olive, and a little comet. Trade my banana for your snack pack. Everything you need to make some awesome chili or oh, spaghetti sauce. Hot stuff coming through. Oh, yummy, 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 yummy. Those are awesome. Ooh, cold water shrimp. I don't even know how to cook those. Ah, baby chicken and beef pies. Duh. Mother friggin' Michelinas. Oh my god, it's super moist. Alrighty, let's move along to Canadian Tire. The Great Canadian Flyer. Uh-uh. A yard works. I heard nothing but horror stories about these. They work great for the first year, the second year, the third year they become iffy, and good luck finding a carb kit for them. That's what I've been told anyway. Holy shit, that's not a bad deal for a 10-inch tablet. Too bad there's no information on it, and chances are it's got like a single core 1 gigahertz processor and runs like a bucket of piss. You know, if that was just a 28 inch TV without the DVD player, that'd be alright. But with the DVD player, I don't need that. So, without the DVD player, that'd probably be around 199 to like 169 Oh well. Keep on haunting. My fucking magic bullet. Holy clock knuckles, that's a serious friggin' crock pot right there. So apparently I don't need to buy anything like this because my brother has one and he doesn't want it anymore and he's been trying to get rid of it but nobody will take it. And I'm willing to take it and then I'll have one and then I can use it and maybe not be so fat. Oh, for the serious people who like to fish for ice cubes when they go ice fishing. Damn, GT Snow Racers really stepped up their game over the years. That reminds me on the weekend I need to go and pick up uh, Scamper some more food because she's starting to run low. Fucking kitty eats like a pig. I should maybe pick up some more of those. They're pretty cheap. You know, and they're on like super awesome deal. Should also go and buy some more of these cutoff wheels and grinder wheels and shit. Frig yeah. If I ever, you know, do some fabricating and stuff. Pretty good deal for a Noma power bar. It's even got the wide outlets for the big block bastards. I need to check my jack because it doesn't work anymore and it's that red one in the picture. 
Need to find out why. Maybe even bring it back to Crappy Tire and exchange it out for another one. Ha! Because it's Mastercraft and you can do that. Well, like I've been saying all day, the flyers have been shit. But what do you expect? It's after Christmas and all the cool deals are gone. So, anyway, on that note, it's pretty late. I'm going to shut her down, call her a night, go to bed, wake up tomorrow, and make another video. Yeah. So if you like today's video, click that like button. Questions, comments, concerns, you know where to stick them. And until next time, people, keep on blogging.